Hey everybody, welcome to July 17, 2016, Sunday. My name is Xenia Shadow, and today I want to talk about, well, I have some topics, and let you guys know I am so tired, so lazy, and so not stressed. I just want to lay down for some of these vlogs. So, um, uh, okay, so first thing is, okay. So, Metroid Prime Federation Force Blast Ball Demo is out now. So, if you want to try out that demo you saw at E3 uh, for the Nintendo Direct, not this year, but the year before, when they're, when they're having, when they barely released Platoon, you can now play that demo. It has been literally a year since that time, and that's pretty cool, I guess. Now we can play the demo Blast Ball. So cool, I'll be playing it eventually at some later point in my channel. Very, very, very later point on the channel. And, um, yeah, I mean, Metro Prime Federation Force is a game I will be getting, just not on launch day. Or launch week or anything like that. So, anyways, the next thing I want to talk about really quick is that, um... They... Let's see. Oh, the, peer, the WWE Peer Review Battlegrounds uh, review. I don't know if it's this Sunday or the next Sunday, but I'm just going to talk about it anyways. So, I saw it, and this peer review was actually pretty hyped and pumped because this is the last peer review... Sorry, pay-per-view before the whole WWE uh, brand, the brand split. And they already announced what superstars are going to what shows, and all now all that, so I am very tired. I'm sorry, like I said. And, um, they already said, like I said, like I said, they already announced what superstars are going to what shows, and the biggest one for me was the triple threat match with Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, and Dean Ambrose, the Shield, to fight it out at Battlegrounds to see who is taking this, the, the fuck, I can't even, okay, there you go, to see who is taking the, uh, championship home to either Raw or SmackDown. Dean Ambrose is the only SmackDown representative, while... Roman Reigns and um, Seth uh, Rollins is on Raw. So, it's going to be a very interesting way to see how this is really going to go. So, but anyways, let's talk about a little bit of the brand split because now I'm getting into the topic a little bit. So, oh, by, by the way, the Battlegrounds preview event was really good. Just, it was good. That's it, okay? So, anyways, um, the brand split. So, the Divas Division, or the Divas Champion, is on Raw. That makes me think, what about SmackDown? Or, no, sorry, not the Divas. The Women's Championship is on Raw. My theory is that what if they put the, re or not replace, they bring back the Divas Championship belt onto SmackDown. So, the girls on SmackDown don't feel like, oh, I want to go to Raw so I can have this championship belt. Which, you know, that's brilliant in my mind. But I don't know if they have done that yet because I haven't watched this, uh, sorry, yeah, last week's uh, SmackDown episode. So, that can be totally different. And then for us, the, the tag team champions, I don't know what to do with that. Yes, yeah, I don't know if it's going to be on both, uh, on both um, brands or not, but... Yeah, that's that's a thing. So, but they have announced the the new championship belt, and it's called the Universal Championship. The Universal Dory, the Dory Universal Champion, which is um interesting name to go with by, but but still, anyways, um, there the there was it the Intercontinental Champion went on to I believe either it was I think it was Raw and then US went on to SmackDown. And now there's a cruiserweight division going on. I, I don't know anymore. So, anyways, uh, that's going to be it for that. So, that's it for today. So, Metroid Prime Federation Force Blast Ball uh, demo is out now. And um, the Battlegrounds peer review, including the Delivery Universal Champion. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys all tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye.